Do you know they talk about making Pornhub like YouTube? <laughs> yeah. Going live on Pornhub. I saw an article about that. Yeah, because it's. I saw that. Okay, I'm gonna wait one minute. See who comes into the room. Uh, we got one person in. I'm gonna say this. We'll like start in one minute. <laughs> Let's tell you to be. What's going on, man? Yeah, I'm just. I'm gonna be ready for the word of the day. Okay. This bitch was tricky, but I think I got the enunciation right with this word. You be quiet. Um, the word of the day is imperturbable. I'm gonna say it again. Imperturbable. That's how it's pronounced. Um, it is spelled imperturbable. Uh, I M P E R T U R B A B L E. Imperturbable. Uh, it's the adjective. It means um, unable to uh, upset or excite. Or you just pretty much calm. That's kind of like me. Well, it takes a lot to piss me off. But, um, and then the person that I'm doing that's not, um, talked about in uh, African American history, his name is Eugene Jacques Bullard. He's our first. African American combat pilot. Um, I believe he fought in World War Two. No, Jack is. It's J A C Q U E S. <laughs> Jack. Huh? Jock. Jock. Jock is. Jock. Whatever. Same thing. No, it's not. Jock. Jock. You called the man jackass. I didn't say jackass. <laughs> <laughs> I said jackass. No, you didn't. You said jackass. That's Jacques, baby. Jacques. You know, uh, it's French. Jacques. Yes, he played the from French. French. Jacques. That's what I'm telling you. It's Jacques. Whatever. So you know how to say it. Because I put it. I put his whole entire name in the description box below. Mm, you called him jackass. <laughs> <laughs> Jockets. Jocket. Whatever. God damn. He was our first African American combat pilot. He served in World War II. Um, he was a machine gunner and saw combat on the, um, the Somme front in uh, Bacardi. Yeah, it's. Yeah, Picardy. P I C A R D Y. I'm sorry, like my eyes are like burning. I don't know why. I think it may, may be the damn pollen. It needs rain. What's going on, Miss Me? Jacques. Jacques. I said Jacques. 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 Whatever, same fucking thing. It is not. How is it not? You said thing. It's pronounced Jacques. Jacques is, whatever. Why can't you say Jacques? I don't fucking know. <laughs> well, we're going to get off the middle name. Um... Yeah, that was going on. Yeah, that was some bullshit. Uh, what uh, Tyra was damn saying. Yeah. At least I'm doing something fucking beneficial for the African-American community. 
Yeah, cause he will. Uh, he was using your name, Chassie. I'm like, ooh, Chassie better hear this shit. And he was saying your name, talking about you. Was, he Tommy was using you. And I'm like, what the fucking ain't talking about y'all business par business partners or some shit like that. I am. Man, if I was in his presence, I would slap the shit out of his ass. Cause he is so, he's so, the shit he puts out, it's like he's so perfidious with it. Yeah, that's another word I done did already. Um, but back to, uh, Jacques. Jacques. Wrong. How <laughs> ah, you say it then? Okay, how? Now, Tyro was saying that they were, he was business partners with Chassie. I'm like, no, the fuck, they ain't. She's just a fucking damn. Um, yeah, that's, that shit had kind of like. I'm like, if you want the fucking truth, you go to the fucking horse's mouth. Now you can you watch that shit. Watch it on Torius's fucking uh replay. I'm going to slap shit out of his ass and make him go bake me some cookies. I'm gonna have his girl make me a fucking Arby's chicken brisket sandwich. They need to bring that shit back. That shit was so fucking good. <laughs> yeah, true that. Well, y'all got help. But back to Eugene. Um, um, let's see. In his interwar turn years, for his World War One service, the French government awarded Buller. I don't know how to fucking say that shit because <laughs> it's in French. Well, you'll see it in the Wikipedia, and then the Second World War Two, following the German invasion of France in May. In the year 1940, Bullard volunteered to serve in the 51st Infantry uh, Regiment in defending uh, Orleans on June 15, 1940. Bullard was wounded, but he escaped to neutral Spain in July 1940. He returned to the United States. Wow. And this dude walked, I think. He walked someplace, and his ass was, they threw rocks at his ass, and they beat his ass, and my fucking angry mob. And you can read all this in his bio. But, um, his honors, he has, um, uh, 15 decorations from the government of France. In 50, 1954, the French government invited him to Paris to be one of the three men to rekindle the everlasting flame at the tomb of the unknown soldier. In 59, he was made the several several the cavalier knight of the legion of the honor by general charles de gould who called bullard a that's just in french <laughs> basically the french hero he also was awarded the that's in french 
another high <laughs> military distinction on June on August twenty third, nineteen ninety four, thirty three years after his death. Yeah. Yeah, I actually had to um, I actually had to fucking cross reference this shit because it kept giving me different people. It gave me um somebody already did already. I'm like, I'm not looking for the first female. I'm looking for the first combat pilot. So I had to do some scrolling, but um, so where can I find a picture of his ass? Okay, I have a picture of him. His picture is that is his picture. That's what he looks like. So with that said, the hell? Wait, 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 wait. He got your phone. How the hell did he get your fucking phone number? That's, um. You know what? Actually, I actually read that it's actually, (laughs) it's actually illegal for you to, um, not go by your actual name on the internet. Because you, it's classified as law. You're breaking the law. And it's classified as a form of terrorism. Yeah, there's a lot of laws that we don't broke. Like, poo, you know them uh, air fresheners you got hanging on your car? Mm-hmm. That's against the law to have. <sighs> yeah. Oh, where is it? I'll let you. I'll let you hear. Mm-hmm. What the? We're Red Link, and we wanted wait, to show wait, you wait, how wait, we created. Wait, 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 wait. Grand National. Yeah. Where? Georgia. Where? Stockbridge, Georgia. How much they want for that bitch? No, that ain't no fucking Grand National. They want seventeen thousand dollars. That shit ain't no fucking Grand National. It's not an 86. You, you have no fucking. Uh, a 2300 card coupe for $1,700. Online. If you've never done this, you haven't been on the internet. Everyone at some point has entered this Facebook is law right online here. for something. Whether it's an online registration form, a Facebook name, or some gaming site. Ah, and again steps in the Computer Fraud and Abuse Act. That act forbids anyone from using a false name for signing up for anything. And believe it or not, doing so constitutes hacking and is punishable for up to 20 years in prison. Mm Mm-hmm, that's right. You want to think again about calling yourself Tony Flamingo? But hey, you're thinking nobody's actually going to go to jail for something like that, right? (laughs) Nope. In 2010, a prison guard named Matthew Lacroix was arrested for creating a fake Facebook profile for his boss. And arrests like this are becoming much more common as cyberbullying and fraud continues to grow, so don't risk it. P.S. If anyone leaves a comment on this video with the username Tony Flamingo, I will personally respond to it. And number 10 <laughs> is swearing in public. Everybody at some point wait, swears. Wait, wait. In fact, you studies suggest that public. swearing is a healthy and natural way to relieve anger. It's but believe it or not, if other people hear you, you just broke the law. In many places, including the United States and Canada, the criminal code states that if swearing causes other people in the vicinity to take notice, then it is indeed an offense that can be met with fines and, yes, even jail time. It falls under creating a public disturbance or disturbing the peace, so be careful. So, those were 10 laws that you've likely broken and didn't even know it. But now that you know, I need to know because I'm curious. Be honest now. How many of these laws have you broken? You don't have to say which ones. Shit, but just all leave a number them. in the comments. Or, you know, if you're feeling badass, say exactly which ones. Look at you. And as always, if you're subscribed to my channel, remember to click the little. Hold on. So. 
I done broke nearly all. I so, I without further ado, here are 10 laws you've broken without even knowing. Yeah, you also might want to get your lawyer on the phone by the end of this one, just in case. Number one is singing happy birthday. If you've ever sang the song happy birthday in a... Fuck. Public place, believe it or not, you've broken the law. Surprise! The song was actually copyrighted back in 1935, and technically, you need to pay royalties in order to use it. Now, you might be thinking, oh, right, that's technically the law, but nobody actually abides by it. Well, actually, that song brings in an estimated $2 million a year, so somebody's paying it. The copyright to the song was purchased by Warner Music in 1988 for $25 million, and since then has been the top. Of multiple the tours. I want you. To, I want all of y'all to hear the gray area at the moment. These laws. Legal it's illegal to sing "Happy Birthday." Song you got to pay royalty. Public domain at this point. However, Warner Music would disagree, mostly because the song is the highest earning single song in history, as well as the most recognizable song in the English language. But don't worry, you keep singing that "Happy Birthday" song. Whatever makes you feel good, baby, you stick it to the man with your bad self. Our number two is connecting to unsecured Wi-Fi. I networks. did that Let's shit. Be completely honest. Some of you get pretty excited when you see your neighbor has unsecured Wi-Fi. Free surfing and no bill. <sighs> Good times. Except that it can get you thrown in prison. Connecting to an unsecured Wi-Fi connection falls under the Computer Fraud and Abuse Act, which makes it a crime to have unauthorized access to anyone's computer or their Wi-Fi. How serious is it? Well, in the United States, it's a third-degree felony that carries oh, a prison shit. sentence of up to two years in jail and up to ten thousand dollars in fines. Now, realistically, will this happen? Eh, probably not, but I wouldn't want a test getting caught. Besides, if you really want Wi-Fi, just come over to my place. My Wi-Fi is Bill Nye the Science Fi, and the password is Science Rules. I'm a loner. Number three is selling stuff online. Most of us at some point have sold shit. something online, whether it's through eBay or some other online merchant. And these sites have very clear rules when it comes to selling things like bootleg movies, alcohol, and tobacco products. This you already know. But did you know that anything you sell online, big or small, must be claimed as income on your federal tax return? Oh yeah, you're going to jail because you sold an old sweater. <sighs> Sorry. No, of course I'm kidding. Chances are the federal government is not going to find out about the ten dollars that you made off of selling your old pogs but the fact remains that the law requires you to claim that money in fact theoretically the irs cra or whatever governing tax body your country has doesn't care where your income comes from as long as you claim it and pay taxes on it this literally means that if you're a drug dealer you better be claiming all those dime bags you're selling baby although nobody really expects all you mini pablo escobars out there to start paying your fair share of taxes so you go on your way number four is throwing away junk mail okay be honest yeah, I would do that shit. What do you do with the junk mail that you received that was meant Throw to be the previous burn tenants? It. How many times have you actually written return to sender or person has moved on those envelopes and taken the time to go back to the post office? I'm a guess none of you. Not Most me. people in those Shots situations wind away. up throwing those pieces of mail in the garbage, but guess what? It's super illegal. In fact, it's a federal crime to open, destroy, or otherwise tamper with another person's mail. And that includes tossing it in the trash, even junk mail. How illegal is it? Well, try a $250,000 fine and potentially five years in prison. Ice. Number five is carrying a marker. If you like crafts, prepare to cry. Believe it or not, if you've ever carried a marker like a Sharpie a or any marker. other kind of fuck? permanent writing tool, depending on where you are, you likely broke the law. This is because many places have passed anti-graffiti laws that ban you from carrying aerosol cans or permanent markers. In the U.S., many states like New York and California have even passed laws making it illegal to buy markers if you're under the age of 18. The government oh, considers them graffiti <laughs> tools, and although it's unlikely that you'll be frisked, or for that matter arrested, in many states it's not worth the risk. Number six is using a car air freshener. That air freshener hanging right from here. the rear view mirror making your whole ride smell like pine trees and bird songs yep. is actually illegal. According to many cities, states, and highway patrol agencies, anything that hangs to impede your view of your windshield, even a small amount can lead to an accident and therefore is against the law. Yes, this includes most air fresheners, hanging dice, sunglasses, or anything else that restricts your field of vision. What? Even though it might seem completely silly, it's been proven that Damn. even a tree-style air freshener can completely block out someone on a motorcycle Damn. if it's... So what's wrong? 
the no, word there. No, she's been in a nursing home, but she just passed away. Say his aunt just called him crying. So how dare? He said he all right. He just said he had to figure out how he gonna do things. You know, he said I ain't the only parent I got left in the world now as a grandparent. I said yeah. She couldn't do nothing from her anyway. She was in the nursing home. Well, she wasn't in the nursing home at first, but she's she's been in one, I know, for about a oh. month. What did she die from anyway? Don't know. They don't know what was wrong with her. She just was staying asleep. She couldn't wake up. She would wake up and look around for a little bit and then go right back to sleep. So I don't know if they were keeping her in an induced coma for whatever reason, but... If they induce you in a coma, your ass is never waking up until they give you something to wake up. Well, she, she ain't been doing nothing but sleeping. She's sleeping now. Here's us a car. They got a lot of miles on it. It's a 9900 cords. How many miles? 200,000. <laughs> I don't know, shit, because... I don't uh, know what year. Good, as long as you keep yeah, as long as you take you take oil. care of it, it'll take care of you. Yeah, keep the time belt done and the oil change. Then y'all give my uh cousin the uh, rest. I mean, yeah, my cousin the rest in peace. My cousin's mom just passed. It's in Dayton, there. It's Honda. Yeah, how much is that one for that? Nineteen. Nineteen hundred. Yeah. I had some money, boy. Not bad. Your mama's a good call. Yeah. Anybody selling a cut, dog? I don't see one. I'm seeing, like, SUVs and stuff. No, nah, I don't want no SUV. Good. Do if it's cheap. Anything with a time and chain, that is, like, the best fucking car to have. Because them belts, they, they, they are built to break. They built them down belts and break. For what year? Because mm -hmm. remember I showed you that video of the top 10 cars to own? Alright, I got you right here. For Chrysler Town and Country Turbo Wagon. <laughs> it's an 85. <laughs> <laughs> you said 85 Turbo Wagon. Hey, hold on, hold on. Remember that time we was, I was driving, it was night, and we saw that <laughs> boom. <laughs> and I just laughed, and I'm like, that motherfucker was getting it. That might be the motherfucking station wagon we saw. <laughs> I'm gonna say one for that shit. Thirty-five. <laughs> this is dog. I'm I'm I'm, 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 I'm telling you, we were driving, and this this was night, and there was nobody but just me. And that's like. All of a sudden, I just saw this motherfucking station wagon just pass me like I wasn't fucking, like I'm standing still. I'm like driving my semi, and I'm like, boom, I'm like. They were hauling ass. Yeah, I said, you know that? That's a station wagon. And I just started laughing because I'm like, I ain't never seen a station wagon go so fast in my life. You go to 09 Crown V for three. Three stacks. something wrong with it. They were just like a police car, too. <laughs> Like everybody, police everybody police thought your Montero was a fucking police car. They also got windows tinted your windshield window. was tinted. And Shut that, up, that's illegal. <laughs> the your windows and your window windshield was tinted past the uh, the legal limit. Yeah, we were, every time we drove that car, we were riding dirty. Riding dirty. <laughs> <clears throat> And police see us that way, we wave right back. Like, what's going on, man? You're going to Chevy uh, Impala. What, what year? Oh, four. <sighs> I don't know what's wrong with it. Don't ask. I'm not going mm, People are acting, acting CL Type X for $2,600. It's in the mouth. We don't need no two little cars. Nah, I know my sister built. She always wanted to act a legend. I just when I first saw that car, I'm like that's an ugly ass motherfucking car. She to this day, she still wants to act a legend. Yeah, she's 
I said, you got kids, man. So? Your cars have issues. They're expensive to fix, too. Tell that to her. And that's the shit that made me laugh. But, uh, sits at the right angle. Number seven is betting with your friends. If you've ever been hanging with your friends and you all start all placing bets, sitting on a game like football or basketball, you may have actually broken the law. According to the Illegal Gambling oh, Act in the U.S., if there were five or more people involved in a total of $2,000 or more, it constitutes illegal gambling and is punishable for up to 10 years in prison. Now, you likely haven't bet that much, so you're probably okay, but if you ever had a poker night with the dudes, there's a chance that that amount may have been involved. Now, don't worry, you're not going to prison. Unless someone narks on you. Watch out for that new guy with a mustache. You can't trust anyone with a mustache. Number eight is throwing snowballs. As a kid growing up in Canada, snowball fights were super common. Throw a snowball As pretty much anywhere else in the world that it gets cold. It's one of the only benefits that we get for living. Ain't that a bitch? For six months of the year. But because it's on this list, you guessed it, throwing snowballs and the act of hitting someone with it is actually assault. Now, before you roll your eyes and think that that's stupid, I told my sister I was going to hit with a snowball, and I did it, so I guess that was Chicago, assault. Threw a snowball and hit a police officer in the arm. And guess what? The boy was arrested, brought up on felony charges, and was suspended from school for five days. And that wasn't the only case. In 2010, five young men in New York City were arrested for the same thing. So obviously, the moral of the story here is don't throw snowballs. Throw the snowball, hit him in the head, and run as fast as you can. Get away, just laugh it. Laugh as you go. You've gotten good. <laughs> what Number he just said. using fake names online. If you've never done this, you yep. haven't been. Using the fake names online. That shit. That's a. I think that was the most bullshit ass law throwing snowballs. That's the purpose of throwing snowballs. It was like um, 10 laws you broken without even knowing. And I'm like, shit, I don't do snow. I don't broke all them fucking laws. I don't bet it gives people or better with people. I done, done did all that shit. I done had a marker. Done had a, But you had to live in certain parts. So I'm like, I, yeah, I really didn't give a shit about the laws. I didn't know I broke them. I told my wife, boo, we got to take, we got to take them air fresheners off. Because you're breaking the law. Because anything that impedes your view, even the, just a little bit. I can't see without them up there. You can't see without them. That's right. And that's what I tell them, too. <laughs> <laughs> Ow. I ain't got to explain it. I just can't see what else. <laughs> nah, that's assault. Uh, I was letting people know that using fake I'm name. Volkswagen Beetle for $2,500. i will kick your ass, you get a fucking Beetle. No, you wouldn't. I bet your ass a driver. No, the fuck I won't. <laughs> you ain't gonna walk. Hold on. Is it, the, is it, is it, um. Still. No, what is the name of that damn movie with that damn beetle? But it's an old one. No, Furby or whatever that shit Herbie. is. Herbie. Herbie, yeah, that fucking movie. <laughs> <laughs> and one of those motherfuckers. Yeah, Furby. Oh, man. I don't know, man. Herbie Lovebug. <laughs> yeah, that shit. Hey, it's silver. What? It's silver. I don't want no fucking. No, the motherfucker been cheating on the emissions test. I made it too. Boy, all we gotta do is get in the driver. Somebody else gonna want to buy it, just like that. What are you gonna do? You gonna you gonna buy a low, sell it high? I ain't gonna say that. What the hell are you looking on? Craigslist. Oh, Craigslist. Yeah, I'm talking about. Chad says you want a Jeep. I found those too. You haven't found one yet. Jeep, a Jeep, Jeep. What kind of Jeep you looking for, Jassy? The kind that you go mudding in. <laughs> yeah, she says the kind you go mudding in. <laughs> a Jeep, Jeep. <laughs> yeah, let's make them fucking rooster tails. You want a Jeep, Jeep? You want a, something like a... Uh, what's them shits? What, what are you talking about? The one that's an SUV. That ain't a Jeep. Jeep Ram. No, we're talking about Jeep. Like, 
The one, okay. The, like post office. No, no, the time chair won't. She won't want them. A from, Jeep, Jeep. Yeah, yeah, Jeep, Jeep. Oh, you ain't never this little motherfucker. <laughs> she wants a, a 78 CJ4. A 78, girl. I go buy you one at the post office auction. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> I'm going to look that shit up. <laughs> you get you one from the post office auction. <laughs> he says you'll buy you one from the... The post office auction. Get a penny. What color you want? <laughs> All I see is a, a CJ5. Let's look at the images. This shit. Oh, she want one of them ugly ass motherfuckers. Hey. That's like the military jeeps. A Honda Civic. A 04 Honda Civic. LX for 3700. Uh, I'm on 37. What year is that? Hold on. This is the ugly shit chance one. That's what. How about that one? You want to get that one, chance? <laughs> no, you want. That's what chance. That's the one chance I want. This one. <laughs> it's shit with rush marks on it and shit. A little like. Like a bear done shit it on it. Yeah, I saw a homie in here. That's the shit want that. The black one. Oh, this one? Yeah, that's the fucking military issue. A BMW Assetto? Ford State. I don't want no fucking one. Dang, it's bullshit. A 67 Chevy GT 350. Are you talking about 300? This nigga, are you fucking serious? Boo, come look at this shit. It's BMW. <laughs> Super T <tea> stupid. <laughs> look, come look. No, my camera's looking at the. My back hurts. Look, oh, hold on, hold on, boo. I want you to open up a tab. I want you to type in BMW I set up. I'm thinking this shit gonna be a motherfucking fast car and shit. Now nah, this, oh. it's one of them like nigga, really? <laughs> oh yeah, I'm gonna back this up, This is the kind of car he said he wants. <laughs> nigga, you probably could kill yourself having an accident with a mailbox. <laughs> <laughs> it's one of them little smart cars. A now, smart car. <laughs> it looks like one. It looks like one of them. What do you call them shits when you give kids that little car? That wheel? No, no. The shit before that. You got to move. Scoot on your feet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that little tight. Oh, shit. That's a clown car. <laughs> yeah, that's what your shit look like. That's that car um, Steve Urkel had. <laughs> <laughs> no, for really? Oh, hell to the no. Look, this dude is bigger than the fucking car. I told you it's a clown car. Uh, oh, there was a... Um, it's a 1904 Rolls Royce. Yeah. I want one of these motherfuckers. I'm opening up my own damn car lot. Hey, I want one of these, boo. How do you think? That's a 1904. I think these right here ready to be seasoned and go in the oven. How about that, boo? What? A 1904 Rolls Royce. No. Now, in order to have this, you have to have a $35 million insurance replacement card. No. In case that shit gets fucked up. Mm -mm. That's a, you see the crumb on that shit? I wouldn't get nothing like that. Why? Because I can't drive it every day. Nigga, nigga, shit only goes 39 miles an hour. You can't even get on the interstate with that car. Guess what? You can't even do the minimum. That's about like... You remember how I told you people used to get, um... What's those damn things? Bowling ball paint jobs. Why would you put a bowling ball paint job... That expensive ass paint job on a car 
It's not worth a damn. And as soon as somebody hit it, you ain't even gonna get your money's worth. This is a car that you with the it's it only goes thirty nine miles an hour. Three nine. You can't even get on the interstate because the bare minimum is forty. Can you drive down the street because people drive faster than that? No. Man, but this is the car that I, I really, really want. I love this car. I don't care what anybody says. Um, thank you. I can hear the fucking acoustics. What, boy? No, I can hear the acoustics. Nope. Yeah. This car was in the movie The Car. It's a 71 fucking Lincoln Continental. God damn it. Where where is that motherfucker? The one on the car. And I kinda like this. Big Lincoln that came from Arkansas yeah, there it is. That's the fucking 71 Lincoln Continental. What? I wish I had that big Lincoln that came from Arkansas in. It had a triple six tag on it. Oh, hell no. See that car right there? That's a 71 Lincoln Continental. Yeah. It had a triple six tag on it. It was red. It had red interior. <laughs> and that move was fast. I bet it was. It was very fast. No. How about this? Give me this car right here. What? Nope. That was, this movie came out before Christine. Christine came out in 77. If I get you no. a car. What year did Christine come out in the movie? Can't, didn't come out in 83? Because the car came out in 77. If I get a car for you specifically. My G35. It's going to be a piece of shit. God damn. You don't take care of cars. You don't. You never oh, get how, about, how about that car Super T talking about? <laughs> hey, I can't get you that. Why? You can't get. If you get in there, you can't get out. <laughs> <laughs> Man. I can't get a 68 goat. Mm -mm. Damn, for real. I like that car. You don't deserve nothing like that. You ain't been that good of a boy. Damn. Take that up with yourself. Always being an ass to me. Oh, right, Betty, uh, give me some. Give me an old school, because I don't like these new school cars. I am. Buy you that uh, Crown Vic or something? What year? I don't know. If you like to see this car, old to this car, you want to ramble by it. Oh, you going to bubble shake? I don't know, Bill. Your ass needs to be able to turn and hit me. I'm a little fucked up. I told you I'm putting my back. Sit your ass down, man. I got a season this shit. Nigga, I'm live streaming, okay? I'll turn this camera around. Everybody going to see your ass. They really gonna see my ass, but I'm gonna move. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking stupid. Sorry, right. y'all, but if he be in the ass, I'm gonna show my ass. Hold on, Super T. <laughs> uh, what, what, eight, you said 83, 83 what? Cook the bill. Yeah, 83 El Camino. I saw a Ford in that sale. It looked like an El Camino. You said when Chrome Matten came out. Hey. What? 83? Yeah. If they give me my money, guess what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do like uh Jay and Silent Bob. I'm gonna travel to some places and wood some people asses. <laughs> Remember that? 
Yep. And that's what we do. I'm gonna tell you no know fucking why. <laughs> Knock on the door, Dale's is dope. Are you so, so, yeah, so. I told you Christine came out in uh, 83. Yeah, see, the car came out in 77. Wow. You, did you make those? Have what? we had those? Oh, I guess we have. We have not. Wonderful. These. Oh, scallop turtles. Yep, you can make those and go with this. Of course, we won't be eating them till later on because they ribs and they go in the oven and it's going to take a while. Sometimes I feel like I hate life. See, the car came out in 77. Flying high, baby, flying real high. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people don't know about this movie. But anybody who came in contact with that, that vehicle, you fucking died. That bitch, that bitch fucking shit killed your ass. Oh, let me, let me go to the car. Yeah, y'all never heard of that shit? The car, this motherfucker will kill your ass. I'm not going to pay for that Thank shit. You. What? Thank you. Silence. The car kill you. Uh, this right here is the car. Fair use, nigga. Fair use. That's a fucking ad. Fair use. Fair use, nigga. Fuck it. 71 El Camino. I mean, Lincoln Continental. God damn. Oh, yeah, that shit was funny. Everybody, this scene right here, everybody say, the car is Trump. <laughs> After all the Mexicans. Get the fuck out of here, nigga. Die, bitch. It just wants to kill people. Stand there and just take it, bitch. Right there. Doom. Never over. <laughs> Coming soon to a theater near you. Oh, car that that car that. Was... How y'all like that? That's the car. Goddamn. You saw what, Christine? Fuck Christine. That damn. That was the seventh. Uh, too old for me to be watching. <laughs> nigga, you was five when that shit came out. Why you telling my age, you punker? Yo, mama. Yo, daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Next time, I'm going to get you back in the head with this mic. <laughs> damn. Ain't no love, nigga. <laughs> Oh yeah, what's his name was on the shit on he was on the scenes of Christine um Johnny Depp of the girl. Oh man, I'm now mad as hell. You used up all my seasoning. What the barbecue season? Yep. Let's go to the corner. Damn that. 
damn that. Why are you being over too potative? We're going to have ranch ribs. <laughs> really? Did you just say fucking ranch? You use my seasoning unless you want me to put white pepper on them bitches. Hell no, I ain't going to shoot. I don't know. I'm trying. Yeah, I got the improvise. I hate having to improvise when I don't have no, you a don't. whole lot of seasonings. No. These shits ain't gonna come out right. Damn, boy. Uh, excuse me. Okay, guys. I think I'm finna end the stream here. Yeah, because he done screwed up my dinner. Like, subscribe, comment, follow me on Twitter, right to know truth. Until then, this is Seth Squipadillion Mug, and I'm out, people. Good Deuces. night.